हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते एंड सलाम वालेकुम हाय दिस इज मारिया खान योर मास्टर टीचर ऑफ बायोलॉजी हियर एट वेदांतु एंड पीपल वेलकम टू माय सेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर येलो टी रियली हेल्दी और अनहेल्दी लेट्स ट्राई टू टॉक अबाउट ओरल हाइजीन इन टुडे सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन विद इट हिट ऑन द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स सो दैट दे आर इंफॉर्मड अबाउट द ओरल हाइजीन एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल इफ यू हैवंट गेट सब्सक्राइब एंड let's get started okay now people whenever me and my family members we pose for a family picture we all like to show our bright white teeth we all smile white but my mom hesitates to smile and when i say mama you're spoiling the family picture come on mama please smile properly so she says na beta i i don't like to smile nicely i don't like to flash my teeth because they are yellow in color and that's the reason why she hesitates to smile and show her teeth but let me tell you people we all should not care whatever the color is of our teeth whether it's white or yellow or whatever it is we all should smile white we all should smile with our own uh, with all our heart and all our soul because you know why because you know why because 60% of the adults are attracted to somebody by their smile alone and that's the reason why we say na khul ke smile karo now people you all must have seen this particular advertisement of viko vajradanti where there is uh, an old man who is breaking a walnut with his teeth like it's an advertisement of toothpaste whatever it is but if a man is able to break the walnut with his teeth definitely the teeth must be very much strong so what gives so much strength to our teeth it's a compound which is called as hydroxyapatite so hydroxyapatite is a complex form of calcium hydroxide and phosphate okay it is a calcium phosphate which is in the form of hydroxyapatite and that makes our teeth very much strong but so these crystals are entangled within each other and that makes our teeth really really strong okay and secondly people when i talk about our teeth our teeth has two parts the part which is visible to us okay which is called as the crown and the part which is embedded within the gums which is called as the root of the teeth okay so whether you call it as a single tooth or teeth all the teeth are having two parts the crown and the root okay moving further the outermost layer of our teeth is called as enamel the middle layer is called as the dentine and the innermost layer is called as the pulp or nerves okay now people let us talk about the characteristics of each of this layer one by one okay now people the outermost layer is called as the enamel now when i talk about enamel it is a non living layer okay it is a non living layer it is a tough layer which contains a lot of hydroxyapatite crystals and that's the reason why it's very much strong it's very much uh, durable and it acts as a protective layer enamel theek hai now on the inner side of the enamel there is a living sensitive layer of our tooth which is called as the dentine now when i call, talk about dentine when i say it's living and sensitive why is it sensitive first of all it's living it consists of living cells and secondly on its inner side it is exposed to the nerves it is exposed to the nerves and that's the reason why i call it as sensitive now people you must have uh, seen that advertisement of sensodyne kya aapke daanton mein tez jhanjhanahat hai so people whenever we consume something very much sweet or whenever we consume something very which is very much hot or which is very much cold it gives a shooting paining sensation in our teeth it is when our dentine is exposed to all these substances and the sensations are picked up by the nerves okay and that's the reason why i said ki dentine is a living sensitive layer on the inner side of the dentine is the innermost layer which we called as a pulp now this pulp contains so many stuffs one it contains all the nerves it contains connective tissue it contains the blood vessels and that's the reason why this pulp is also called as the nerve of the tooth okay now people i told you about enamel ki it contains hydroxyapatite but when i talk about dentine 
it is a protein rich bone like structure it is very much strong it is rich in protein again it contains 70% hydroxyapatite secondly it contains proteins especially collagen now collagen is a protein which is present in our skin it is responsible for the good health of our joints when it is present in the skin it is responsible for the elasticity for the flexibility of our skin okay now people similarly in this dentine there 70 percent hydroxyapatite crystals then it also contains various proteins rich in collagen along with water okay that's the composition of dentine now people when we talk about the next layer that is the enamel now enamel to is 97 percent composed of hydroxyapatite crystals only 97 and that's the reason why it is so strong it is so strong that it is considered to be the hardest part of our entire body even much more stronger than our bones whoa are you blown away with this fact if yes come on post a year in the chats yeah so people now to this by, by part whatever have we uh, what what have we discussed the upper part crown the lower part root then three layers outermost enamel middle dentine and the innermost pipe now people the enamel is furthermore covered by a thin protein film which is called as pellicle people p for pellicle and p for protein now this pellicle layer is made up of salivary proteins basically the glycoproteins that are present in saliva so it is composed of the glycoproteins that are present in the saliva so it is rich in salivary glycoproteins carbohydrates and certain lipids so it acts as a protective film which covers the enamel so it is not just the enamel which protects our teeth but it is also the pellicle which acts as a thin film which protects our teeth from the bacterial attack okay now when i mentioned bacteria the human mouth contains more bacteria than the people present on planet earth you'll be saying ma'am you're kidding i say no no beta that's the fact you know what there are approximately 700 species of bacteria living in our mouth now if i talk about on a particular instance on an average there are 30 billion bacteria present in the human's mouth okay now these bacteria they multiply okay they double up in five hours and if you go without brushing just for 24 hours think about the number but 300 billion more than that bacteria will be present in our mouth and that's the reason why we say brush your teeth twice a day okay because they double up within five hours so yeah ideally one must brush teeth after every 12 hours okay now let's talk about the color of the teeth okay first let's talk about the outermost layer that's the enamel now enamel is naturally white in color it is translucent okay and that's the reason why we see that our teeth appear to be white it's because of the enamel okay and this enamel is a very tough layer but with age with uh, exposure to various strong substances like acids now when i talk about acid so phosphoric acid which is present in the soft drinks like coke you know? so cola so people in western countries people consume a lot of cola and that's the reason why their enamel gets easily eroded it gets demineralized and the dentine layer gets exposed and that's the reason why their teeth no more appear white because already the whitish layer has been eroded so what will be exposed the inner layer which is not white in color okay so this enamel can get eroded with phosphoric acid it can get eroded with citric acid and that's the reason why we recommend people not to consume too much of acidic foods they are not good for your teeth okay but besides this even doctors recommend you not to consume too many sugary substances chocolates and candies and toffees they're not good for your teeth why why anyone knows the logic behind it come on let me know in the comment section chalo people let me reveal the fact over here okay these bacteria 
bacteria they just love sugar bacteria convert this sugar into acids and acids further attack our enamel and that's the reason why to stop this chain reaction like conversion of sugar to acid and acid attacking our enamel we must we must remove the root cause that is we must reduce the consumption of sugar we must inhibit uh, the consumption of uh, additional sugar in our diet okay we we are good to go with the natural sugars that are present in the fruits or the food that we consume but we should not take additional sugar that's not really good okay then so people when the enamel erodes of course it makes our teeth appear darker naturally okay now people why do our teeth specifically become yellow or brown it is because of colored pigments colored substances called as the chromophores where chroma means color and four means to bear okay so the colored compounds which actually impart color to our tooth are called as chromophores now this chromophores can be absolutely organic or they can be inorganic now when i say organic it can be derived from certain phytoconstituents like natural organic chemicals which are present in the food that we consume or they can be inorganic that is from the minerals which can impart color okay now people this chromophores are the substances which absorb light in the visible range okay visible spectrum web gear you know what it is you all study physics so it absorbs light in the visible spectrum and it reflects back the complementary color now people you all have studied this complementary color right so which is the color uh, that is complementary to red which is the color that is complementary to red of course that's green which is the color that is complementary to purple come on that's yellow now which is the color that is complementary to blue come on let me know in the comment section complementary to blue now that's orange right and that's the reason why people this complementary colors they are reflected back which are recognized by our eyes and that's the reason why the color of our teeth it doesn't appear white to us but it appears in the shades of yellow to orange to brownish okay and people as i said this chromophores can be organic or inorganic in nature so when i talk about organic so certain organic phytoconstituents like tannins tannins are the red and blue brown colored uh, tannins usually red and blue brown colored compound that is present in food stuffs like wine tea coffee anything that is reddish or brownish in color it will be rich in tannins okay and that's the reason why we say that tea is rich in tannins tannins substances used for uh, converting the animal skin into leather tannins okay so tannins they impart yellowish brown color to our teeth okay and even the furfurals furfurals are another phytoconstituents that are again loaded in tobacco uh, and that's the reason why people who consume tobacco or tobacco containing products their teeth they are weirdly stained hai na so people say no to tobacco say no to furfurals but there's one one compound that's present in our teeth which says welcome and which is that that is nothing but the substance which makes your teeth very much very much very much hard and which is that substance guys the mineral is hydroxy apatite people this hydroxy apatite it has a strong affinity to furfurals and that's the reason why the hydroxy apatite adsorbs furfural onto it okay a layer of furfural gets coated over the hydroxy apatite and that's the reason why the natural color of our teeth it changes okay yeah so yeah i spoke about the organic molecules for example tannins and furfurals which is present in usual substances which we consume in our day to day life but it also can be present in inorganic substances okay chromophores can also be present in inorganic substances like metallic ions ferrous or ferric ions cupric ions or manganese ions so these ions also 
absorb the visible light and reflect back the complementary colors which are visible to us and that's the reason why the color of our teeth appears differently okay now these chromophores okay these chromophores they stain our teeth now this stain okay this stain can be intrinsic okay it can be in the enamel or in the dentine or it can be extrinsic that is it can be adsorbed okay there could be certain natural substances present in our enamel present in our dentine which are making our teeth appear yellowish like in case of my mom like since her childhood when she got her permanent set of teeth okay since that time her teeth were yellow and that's because of this intrinsic factors intrinsic stain okay or it can be consumption of too much of tobacco products products that are rich in tannin or furfurals which is adsorbing those uh, substances organic or inorganic substances on to your teeth okay so on extrinsic in intrinsic and that is what which is imparting color which can be yellow or brown or at times even blackish so people who are addicted to tobacco you see all black color edges on their teeth it is because of this okay now how to overcome this are there any remedies now there are many videos floating on the internet some say ki or uh, try to rub it with uh, any kind of substances or salt or this and that and blah 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 so many stuff so people don't try out all those weird home based remedies the simple thing that i can suggest you is ki you can make use of tooth gels not tooth paste a dentist friend of mine said ki tooth paste contains some abrasive substances okay which can erode out the enamel in the long run so don't rely on the tooth paste but prefer tooth gels okay so use good quality tooth brushes okay but they should not be too hard they can be soft or they can be medium and uh, a tooth gel so you can clean your teeth brush your teeth twice a day and then if still you are not satisfied with the results you can seek a professional help you can visit a dentist clinic and uh, you can get it bleached okay but i will not recommend it so people we are born with so many things that are unique to us and so is the color of our teeth so if it is yellow yellow is say kya farak padta hai hai na so people try to accept the way you are don't try to change the things ha if if intrinsic factors are there i will say embrace it if any extrinsic factor is imparting color to you try to refrain from consumption of certain substances and products it will definitely help to uh, uh, reduce the adsorption of certain substances onto your dental layer and still once you have like said no to all those stuffs and then you can seek a uh, medical help like you go to a dentist and then you get your teeth bleached and you can show your white teeth okay no worries and people you know what simply brushing or gargling is not enough for the complete oral hygiene it is very much essential for you to floss okay uh, flossing it is like using a thin wire which can reach the crevices the gaps between your teeth where a normal toothbrush bristles can't reach okay so roughly 35% of our tooth surface cannot be reached with the help of the normal traditional brushing techniques so you have to floss okay and people if you really love today's session and if you feel like studying the entire biology with me or with fabulous teachers fabulous set of teachers which we have at vedantu you can click on the link which has been posted in the uh, description box which has been pinned in the comment sections and don't forget to check that uh, the coupon code is applied so people if you go through the pinned comment or the description link in the description box of course the coupon code will be definitely directly applied but if you go via youtube i mean so sorry if you go via our website and then if you try to purchase our subscriptions then you have to manually apply my coupon code don't forget to apply this coupon code because it's going to give you some additional discount so people my coupon code is m a k p r o mac pro 
एम ए फॉर मारिया के फो खान मारिया खान एम ए के प्रो ऑल आर सब्सक्रिप्शन आर प्रो लाइट प्रो प्लस प्रो क्लासिक एंड दैट इज द रीजन वाई मैक प्रो ओके सो पीपल दैट्स इट फॉर द डे I really thank each one of you from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my heart for being with me right till the end of the session and people if you have to recommend me anything suggest me anything write down to me in the comment sections alternatively you can also reach out to me via the mail id that is maria.khanatvedantu.com and what else should i say people like share and subscribe and see you in the next session till then allah hafiz milwa hafiz and keep watching vedantu bye bye thank you all